Today we're talking about one of the best and most fun ways to reduce your carbon emissions, lower your monthly fuel bills, and set an example for climate action, electric vehicles. My name is Ryan Matheson and welcome to the first of three installments of the Bruce Peninsula Biosphere Association Climate Action video series. EVs are quickly becoming mainstream. Nearly 5% of all vehicle sales in Canada this year were electric, with some provinces topping 10%. Driving an EV has massive environmental and economic benefits over a fossil fuel alternative. Let's say you drive 15,000 kilometers per year. Using current gas prices and average gas vehicle mileage, this will cost you about $1,800 every year and will emit nearly three tons of CO2. Now let's say you drive an EV the same distance. If you charge it at home, overnight as often as possible, how much do you think it would cost? That's right. If you charge at your home during off-peak electricity hours, which is overnight, you could cut your vehicle fuel bill by over 80% when you switch to an EV. And what about carbon emissions? Compared to the 3,000 kilograms of emissions from gas vehicles, what do you think the annual emissions from an EV would be? If you said zero kilograms, you would be right if we had a zero emission electricity grid. In Ontario, we have a very low carbon electricity system, but we still get between 5 and 10% of our power from fossil fuels. So the correct answer is C, about 80 kilograms, still 98% less emissions than the gas car. But we don't have to just talk about EVs. Let's go meet some real local EV owners. I'm Michelle Watson. I'm John Hazelmeyer. At the time, we were living uh, close to Ottawa. I was working at Thousand Islands National Park and commuting almost 100 kilometers one way to work every day. The environmental reasons, but the economics worked out pretty well too. 90% of our charging happens here uh, at home during off-peak hours, so we pay under $5 to charge our car fully at home. The charging unit for our electric vehicle is, is just basically a plug-in unit. It plugs into um, like a dryer outlet, and it's, it's very simple to install. With our charger, it takes about six hours to go from zero to full, so it charges overnight. It's ready in the morning. My favorite part is I don't get as car sick in this car as like I do in the gas car. And I also just love knowing that I'm not polluting when I'm driving this car. It's just such a good feeling. So tell us a little bit about the EV driving experience. What's it like to drive right now? Very easy to drive. It's also just very smooth and, and the car itself is really responsive. We use our, we use our electric vehicle probably 80 or 90% of the time. We use it to do run errands, groceries, we use it to go to and sound to come back. Something that really excites me about um, electric vehicles in the future is that they're now, the newer models are now being built with bi-directional charging capabilities so that they can not only receive power, but they can supply power. So if you live in a place like the Northern Bruce Peninsula, where there are many power outages, that's, uh, that's a big selling point. You can now use your car as a battery backup for your house. When you own an electric vehicle, you don't have to worry about oil changes. <laughs> no exhaust system, no spark plugs. So there's almost, well, to be honest, I don't think we've done any maintenance at all, except switch to winter tires on the bolt in the three years that we've had it. I can see that you don't use the brake paddle in this car very much, but you still slow down. Can, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So right now I have it set to regenerative braking so that when I take my foot off the gas, the car slows down just like that. So I'm not actually braking. I'm not pressing the brake pedal. I'm just taking my foot off of the acceleration pedal. And what's happening is all of that energy is being um, directed back to the battery. And the other the other benefit of that is you almost never change the brakes in an EV. Right. right? You never wear out any brake pads because literally most most trips that we make in the car, you never touch the gas pedal even once, or the brake pedal, I should say. 
And we're driving on some pretty snowy, slushy roads here. Do you notice that it handles pretty well, or how is it in the snow, do you notice? Yeah, it handles really well in the snow. I don't even really like cars, and I always, I just feel pleasure every time I get to drive this car. I'm not sure exactly why. I think uh, the handling is a big part of it, probably, and the acceleration that Michelle talked about. Like, it's just, yeah, it feels it's very responsive and just, therefore, you know, fun to drive. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it feels good for us to drive the EV, knowing that it's something that we can do to reduce our contribution to climate change. Switching to an EV is the best way to lower your greenhouse gas emissions and cut your monthly fuel bill. So why not say goodbye to oil changes, through the roof gas prices and bad gas station coffee and make your next vehicle electric. If you're interested in learning more about electric vehicles, come visit us at the Biosphere Climate Action Hub.